the Supreme Court decision or vote or whatever you want to call it, the announcement, the leak, you know, I'm like, obviously it's a distraction. I don't know from what besides the data from Pfizer and besides the uh, Kevin Wheeler situation. There's a bunch of stuff right now where they just got these things up their sleeve, but man, it's, it was genius, genius timing. Genius timing for them to release this thing right now. Number one, the Dims have never sucked worse in the polls than right now. Like everybody knows these guys are in for a shaklak and come voting time. Everybody knows it. The other thing they know is that there's no real reason to vote. You know, I mean, what a strengthening component to their base. You know what I mean? Like, do you tell you tell them one of the very fabrics of what they believe in is going to be, you know brought under scrutiny and then you've got yourself a significantly more emotionally charged base around every issue you know people that might have been like people that might have been like uh, people that would might have been like ah i'm starting to see why i might want to vote you know republican for the first time ever you know now they now they're like well never mind the republicans are trying to go too far But it's like, it's not the Republicans that are going anywhere. It's that the Constitution never set up a a precedent for a right to abortion for as like a national, as a constitutional right, you know? Uh, Yeah, so, but look, these people used to say, these people used to say, we want abortion to be safe, legal, and rare. That was the phrase that Hillary Clinton said. In her speech, I had a video of it forever ago, but there was a great speech on that. What's up, everybody? Thank you for the badges, everybody that's given. I really appreciate it. it helps me keep doing this. Um, but um, the Hillary Clinton said they wanted abortion to be safe, legal, and rare. And so I think that was the 80s that she said that. It might have been the early 90s. But anyway, that was the phrase, safe, legal, and rare. Now they want abortion after a baby's born, which is just another word for murder. I mean, come on. Right. And so the, 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 the sticks are moving again and it would make sense that because they've taken these, or they're attempting to take these drastic steps, you know, Colorado with the no ban abortions and everything, Colorado passing that it makes sense that the Supreme court might be like, all right, we better say something about this. What we think, you know, it's a shame there's 62 million babies, you know, late, because that's how many have been aborted. But just so everybody knows, this is not going to outright ban abortion. It's just going to make it so that it's not a, it's not a federally protected right, a federally protected right, so that it goes to the states for them to determine. So I don't even know, I don't even know that anything would change in California or in Colorado. Um, but states like Texas, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, things like that, states like that are hardcore red, uh, I think would start to have significant issues with uh, people that want to have an abortion in those states but can't afford to have one because that state can outlaw it and they'll have to travel and God forbid anybody have to travel in order to be able to get an abortion, right? So that's, I mean, there's just so much coming down the pipe with this. That's annoying. They're also, it's perfect timing because the Democrats lost all their, their fuego, dude. Everybody hates them right now. They suck at what they're doing. So anyway, you've got you've got a perfect timing, but there's so much hypocrisy in this one. There's so much more hypocrisy in this one because they stopped allowing the idea of my body, my choice with the whole vaccine mandate stuff. You know, like really that is a pretty big hole in their argument in that category. So they stopped that with that and then they also kind of, completely destroyed the ability to be considered a woman, something that's sacred or the, the idea that men can't, the idea that men can't have opinions about it because they don't have no uterus, no opinion. Well, y'all don't believe that now. You know, I can, I can blink and snap my fingers and wake up and I can decide that I emotionally and spiritually and, uh, realistically, I guess is the word biologically, maybe like was, I have the mind of something that can have a uterus. So therefore I can have one kind of like, I don't know, but like whatever it is, you're not allowed to say 
that my opinion about women is wrong since you have to I, say that I am a candidate who could easily identify as one and you would respect it. So since that's the case, I, you know, when they bring this argument up this time, they're kind of done for. They can't win the argument this time. So they're going to lose on argument, but they're going to win on outrage, right? So basically every, every single blue haired woman who's had seven abortions and just preaches this stuff is going to turn everything that she says up to seven, which is good. Um, or up to 10, which is good because it's going to make everybody be able to clearly see that these people are frothing. They're, fro they're, they're fuming. They're, they're, they're fuming and they're frothing at the mouth for the ability not to just like to be able to kill their babies within like eight weeks or something like that. But these people want they ne they're too stupid. They're too stupid. The way that they behave is too... You're too heightened emotion. You ever met a girl? Let me explain how it works, okay? Let me just explain this whole thing, all right? Have you ever met a girl that's had like a crazy wound in her life, an emotional damaging relationship in the past where somebody used to like cheat on her in a certain kind of way and so it made her really, really aggressive about like that category of thing. Like maybe they used to go to, maybe their boyfriend used to go to the bowling alley and that's where he cheated and he did it for years and she, he just rubbed it in her face and her dad used to go to the bowling alley. So she's got this thing about bowling alleys. And so everything can be normal. And then you're in a relationship with them or you're hanging out with them or something. And then you mentioned ball, that you went to a bowling alley and they turn off all of their rational juices. And you see this uncharacteristically animated version of their personality be incredibly vitriol uh, and, and cutthroat about that category. And you're like, oh my God, like that's like a demon that's inside of you that's flipping out. What in the world? That's what's happening. We're touching the secret box, right? The secret box is most women, if they've had abortion and been told that it was okay, need to make sure that they keep that ideology in their head that it's not wrong. And, or else they have to feel the crashing weight of, oh my God, what did I do? And that's a heavy burden to bear. So a lot of them have buried the truth of that underneath of 16 years of lies and stuff. And so they'll come out swinging. So that's what we're about to wake up now. We're waking up the sleeping giant that doesn't want to deal with the fact that maybe this wasn't actually right. Uh, which obviously, if you talk about it long enough, is just kind of where you end up landing. And that's why they're all the way that they are about this, which is incredibly emotional. They're going to win the outrage Olympics, but they're not going to win the logical Olympics, which helps us a lot. So I'm not really afraid of that. But I hope that makes sense to everybody that these things basically, they have these uncharacteristically strong emotional outrage things about certain things and the only reason that somebody does that is because they're protecting something that costs them something if they give up ground I hope this helps God bless everybody I can't believe that this is happening right now it's definitely a victory in the in the in the emote like on the uh, on the momentum side for the conservatives right now because this makes total sense like it's not a federally constitutionally protected thing to be able to kill a baby so burnt anyway i hope you guys are doing well uh let me mention one more thing i am taking two new clients for doing business consulting social media consulting i know some people are uh will send me messages asking about it uh i have spot for two uh, where I can meet with you, do consultations about how to help you get your business and your social media stuff off, off the ground. So there's that. Hope you guys are doing well. You can schedule in my uh, in my link tree in my bio if you want a uh, consultation. Would love to meet with you. God bless. Have a great day. Keep fighting the good fight.